Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get the latitude and longitude using um, this address information here, address, city, and state. And we can also get the zip code if somebody didn't um, put that in. So um, the way we do this is with um, Yahoo Maps um, geocoding API. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to um, request an XML file and um, we're going to get that data and then we're going to write to a file. We're going to write to this addresses.txt right here. Okay, so um, let's see how that works. So I have an address right here. This is the staple center and the information's in there. And if we click fetch data, um, what I'm doing here is I'm writing to the file. So if I refresh here, we can see the uh, latitude and longitude there. And we also have the postal code and the country and we didn't input those things and I don't think we put in the state either or maybe we did uh, but anyways yeah so we're writing to the file and if we search this again uh, we're going to um, append to that file so if I go here and refresh okay now we have a new line so um, let's see how this works um, it's pretty simple basically what we do need to do is we need to put together a query string and that query string is right here so um, Yahoo's URL and then we're um, appending on a query string here with the app ID and then the street and city and the state and um, so let's, let's go over to the code then and um, I also have the White House here we can we can I test with that that works too so um, Let's go to the form first. Simple form. Um, it's submitting to itself <clears throat> using post. And um, we have the three fields right here. Basic form, self-submitting form. And um, when this form submits to itself, um, if these post variables are set, then we are going to do the processing to write to that file. So we're um, grabbing these post variables and storing them in um, these easier to use variables. And then I'm creating another variable, the app ID, and the app ID is right there. And you can get an app ID. Um, you can get an app ID by um, on their site, wherever that is. Yeah. Um, let's make this a bit smaller. Create project and get your um, API code. And um, basically, I just pasted the query string in here, and um, we're requesting the contents of this XML file. So. The next thing I'm doing is I'm encoding these things because an address is going to have spaces and stuff like that. So I'm running the URL code function on the address and we're, we're um, creating these encoded variables, URL encoded. The next thing we're doing is we're putting together the query string. So um, this and then appending on um, the address and then uh, concatenating on a comma to separate. Then the city, then concatenate a comma then the state and then we're concatenating on this um, ampersand app ID and then the app ID right there and that's really all it takes and the next thing we do is um, we run this simple XML load file function on the query so this is just taking care of all of the dirty work for us and um, if you have a recent version of PHP or probably anything after 5 um, this is going to is it going to work? <clears throat> and then um, we have this, we're storing the, whatever is returned from this, we're storing that in location object here. And if that location object variable has data, then we are going to um, get this information right here. So let's take a look at um, that object. So if we go over back to the browser here, uh, we can see it right here. So um, it's an object and um, we have this um, result property, which is an object, the symbol XML element object. And inside here, we can use whatever information we want from here. Um, Yahoo gives it a quality score, so you could, you know, set up some if statements like, you know, if the quality is too low, if like if this is less than 80, you know, that you're not going to use it. If it has a good quality score, you can use it. Uh, we have the latitude and longitude here. Um, and <clears throat> if we go further down here, We'll also see the postal code. And so here we have 90015. And if we go to the Staples Center address right here, 
That's correct, 90015. So that uh, did a pretty good job there. And um, so what, what I'm doing after that is I'm saying if um, file put contents. So basically we're trying to do this here. We're trying to, this is going to you know create the file, write to it, and also close it. Um, this function file put contents and then we're passing in uh, the path to the file we're writing to and then passing in the data and then file append so if you use this third parameter file append um, what it's going to do is it's going to append to the file rather than write it you know write it from scratch and so basically if this didn't work then we're going to um, echo uh, error writing to file and if this location object didn't exist if this return null then we just echo out there's lo no location data but if there's no problems with your query string or anything like that um, this should be populated with data so you can see here we're here we're putting together um, the data that we're going to write to that file and you can see how I have it right here the latitude and these are comma separated values and then we're just putting a new line at the end so it, so it breaks down each time um, let's go back here so if this wasn't successful then we echo out error writing to file but um, if everything goes to plan then this will work and then basically we're just done with this so because um, this is an object and if we go back to the browser here you'll see it's an object. Because this is an object, um, the way we access these, you know, we have to access these properties like result here, which has got the good stuff in it, um, you know, with the arrow notation and then to get the latitude and longitude. So you, if you look at the code here, um, location data, and I call this an arrow, and then result, and then the latitude, and then we're concatenating on the comma to get those comma separated values. And finally at the end, um, a new line character so that so that the next time something's appended that it's on the next line and then I'm just you know echoing out this information we don't really need this so that's basically how um, Yahoo's geolocation API works and thanks for listening